What is happening, Papper people? In this video, I'm gonna discuss with you full face masks. Full face masks are probably the number one mask as far as what people feel like they need. And I wanna kinda of dissuade you from that thought process. The reason more people think they need a full face mask is because in the sleep lab, when people are put on CPAP, the night technician is really just looking to get a study that they don't have to worry about a lot of uh, mouth leaking. And so you tend to go to a full face mask to try to eliminate that. Unfortunately, a lot of techs just ask, do you mouth breathe at night? And the patient almost always says yes, because they're in there for sleep apnea. And with sleep apnea, if you consider you stop breathing at night, actually consider you're holding your breath at the bottom of a swimming pool or something. The first thing you do to suck in a large volume of air is not to suck it in through your nose. Instead, you're gonna <gasps> And so that's what most people with sleep apnea do at night when they're actually you know, at the end of their apnea cycle. And that's what they remember. They wake up and sucking a lot of air in through their mouth. They have a dry mouth, dry throat. And so they automatically assume that they are a mouth breather. And sometimes they'll even report this to the technologist and then full face mask it is. I'm here to tell you, more likely than not, you can get away with a nasal mask, a nasal only mask. The exception being if you have a deviated septum or you do have chronic congestion. In those cases, you're gonna need a full face mask, like no doubt. However, that said, it's also a really good idea to have a full face mask on hand if you get sick. So just not chronic congestion, but just, you know, you have a cold, you have a flu, uh, allergy season. It's nice to have a full face mask on hand for just that reason. Here's another thing that I like to try to educate people on with full face masks. A lot of people when they start using a full face mask or the reason that they change to a full face mask is to get rid of leaking. Yeah, they do stop mouth leaking, but oftentimes with a full face mask, let's use this as an example. If I'm using this as a full face mask and I go to sleep, my jaw's gonna relax. And when my jaw relaxes, it falls back. When it falls back, the, the entire shape of my face just changed. And so you'll get leaking around the sides of the cushion here. Um, that's usually expressed in the sound of people say like, my mask is 40. But you'll get leaking and vibrations around the mask cushion. And a lot of people at that point will say, well, uh, this full face mask just doesn't fit for me. Just know that this mouth dropping, it's an issue for nasal masks and it's an issue for full face masks. If it is an issue for you, you can try several things. You can try a double-sided boil and bite mouth guard. You can try taping. You can try a soft cervical collar. You can try a chin strap. And there's also some other products I'm gonna be trying. Um, one is Somnifix, and another is actually um, denture cream to help keep your mouth closed. All you're doing is you're looking for something to maintain the integrity of your face shape, and then full face masks will work for you. Before I show you all of these masks, I have individual videos on every single one of these masks. I'm gonna list them in the description box below so you can get a little more detail on each of these masks. But right now I'm just gonna go over some of the features of these masks. This video is sponsored by CheapCPAPSupplies.com. Go ahead and check them out. I have a coupon code for you. It is Lefty16. Any other coupon codes that I am aware of, I'm gonna put them in the description box below. If you're interested in any of these masks to have on hand as a backup or for primary use for CPAP or bi-level, Go ahead and check them out. Their prices are already low, and then with the coupon codes that I, I have offered, you can get them for even less. You can use your health or flex savings account. You can also use insurance. You can also pay cash. They also have programs that they can put you on a payment plan. CheapCPAPSupplies.com is great to work with. If you have any questions about what masks to use, buy, troubleshooting, give them a call. They have a huge selection of masks, machines, accessories. Give them a try. That's CheapCPAPSupplies.com forward slash lefty. So when I say full face mask, what exactly do I mean? What I mean is it's gonna cover up your nose holes and it's gonna cover up your mouth. This covers up my nose and mouth. It's a full face mask. This, even though it doesn't cover up my nose, it covers up my nose hole. So therefore it is a full face mask. Anything that closes up your nose and your mouth, full face mask. All right, so this is the Fisher Paykel Viterra. Uh, I did a review on it. Um, all of these masks I have favorable reviews of, which is why I'm showing all of them. So the Fisher Paykel Viterra is pretty much what I would call a standard full face mask. It actually does cover up the nose. So those are great for, uh, they provide a lot of stability for people. It's kind of an older design. Um, so people like me that have a deep nose actually have a problem with these sometimes. So if you have kind of a wider, um, a wider bridge of your nose and a shallow bridge of your nose, 
you can definitely get away with using these. Um, I would say these are a go-to for you. However, if you have a nose shape like mine, very skinny, very long, very deep, I would go to something more like this type of design that sits underneath the nose. So the masks that fit underneath your nose are the ResMed F30i. Now F30i has the silicone tubing and the tube attachment on top. The F30 has a cloth headgear with a tube attachment in the front and your nose sits in the cradle. The Philips Respironics Dreamwear Full Face Mask sits under the nose, also has the silicone tubing coming down and the tube attaches on top. The more traditional style of these is the Fisher Paykel Viterra tube attachment in the front. You have the forehead spacer. Now the ResMed Air Fit F20 has a silicone cushion tube attachment in the front, this neoprene headgear. There's a different version of this called the Air Touch. The Air Touch is gonna to be this exact same design except it has a fo memory foam cushion. A lot of people say, oh, the memory foam cushion only lasts 30 days. Yeah, sure, but if you have insurance, insurance is gonna cover that cushion replacement every month. Okay, so what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of each of these masks? Well, the Fisher Paykel Viterra, one of the problems with this style of mask, as well as this, is that people sometimes will over tighten the top and get a bloody spot or a pressure sore on the top of their nose. The Fisher Paykel Viterra is actually nice in that it has this roll fit design. So I can keep tightening this, but it is gonna keep backing off. It's gonna actually provide, it kinda has a little spring to it. You can see it, it wants to push out, but it's not too hard. So this one makes it nice in that you can't really over tighten it to put a lot of pressure on the bridge of the nose. You're not gonna get those sores if you wanna go with this style of mask. Nice thing about this is it also has this 360 ball and socket joint. Uh, it has some other features I don't wanna get into too much, but uh, that's more or less this. Check out the individual video of the Viterra if you wanna, if you wanna know more. Can okay, I the F20? I personally like the silicone cushion because I feel like it, it gets a better seal. But if you have a hard time with like, you know, your skin breaking out or you can't quite seal the leaks, if you have stubble, the air touch, the memory foam design is a lot better. You're gonna get a little more airflow underneath it. Not enough that it's like mask leaking, but you're gonna get airflow that keeps it cool, keeps your skin happy. But both are great designs. Now my personal favorite are the ones that fit up underneath my nose. And again, I already mentioned that. It's simply because I have a deep, long nose. And with that, it makes the standard design actually kind of difficult to fit. So this again is the Philips Respironics Dreamwear Full Face Mask. As you can see, it fits up underneath the nose and the tubing attaches on top. So in my original review, I didn't really like this. And the reason I personally didn't like that is you can see I have a fairly narrow face. This is more of a wide cushion. You can see how flat it is and it doesn't really flex all that much. So for me, I have to tighten it a little a little too much to get it to actually wrap around my face and seal the way it should. So if you kind of have a chubby face or like a flat face, this is gonna be good for you. If, <laughs> if you have a face shaped like a shovel, you're gonna love the Dreamwear. No, it is, it is more for someone who has a chubbier face and a wider face. This will definitely fit you well. And I actually do like this cushion a lot because it doesn't really envelop your nose and cover it up. It allows for a lot of play in there. So I do like the design here. It's just the lack of flexibility that is my only gripe with it. What I love about it and what you'll probably love about it is that the tubing attaches on top. So when you do roll around, you're not gonna have that pulling on the front of your mask. And some people that really annoys me, it doesn't at all, but that is just something that you can look for in a design of a full face mask. Now this is the AirFit F30i, very, 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 very similar in design to the Dreamwear full face mask. Now this has, you can see the actual cushion, how it curves up a whole lot more. And then you can see, looking at the bottom, how flat the Dreamwear is versus this, it really curves around. So this really fits my narrow face well. So understand what your face shape is when you're deciding on a mask. This is great for narrower faces. It fits like so. So you're gonna need to pick the F30i if you wanna have the attachment on top. Now understand that comes with the silicone tubing and it has the stretchy accordion style headgear on top. Now for me, this is actually my favorite full face mask. And this is the F30, just a standard F30. It attaches in the front because I don't care if it attaches on top. I actually kind of like the feel of attaching in the front. I don't know why. I think it's mostly because of the headgear. This is just a no frills headgear. It's just like a neoprene cloth and I really like it. I also like with this that the top of the mask, these straps are very important on a, a mask style like this that fits up under your nose. If you have one of these masks, it's gonna kind of catch on the top of your nose and keep it from dropping. You don't get that same benefit or luxury with this type of mask that sits under your nose. So you need a strap that's gonna be able to pull it up and keep it firmly under your nose, or I should say snugly under your nose. 
So that's why I really prefer this, again, for myself. Attaches in the front, ball and socket, fits under the nose, easy headgear to adjust for my face. Now that is a ton of mass that we just went over. The point of this is that just because a mask covers up your nose and your mouth and it's dubbed a full face mask, they're all very, very different. And I usually like in finding a mask to finding a spouse. Yeah, there's a lot of great masks out there, but really only one or two that you might actually long-term be compatible with. Do me a favor, if you like this video, please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please take this time to check the description box below. I have a lot of links that are ways to help out this channel. I also have an Amazon affiliate link. Now, if you would use that, just understand that as an Amazon affiliate, I earn on all qualified purchases. So if this video helps you out at all, please consider using that Amazon affiliate link that I have provided below. All right, that's all I got. If you have any comments, questions about any of these masks, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching. Now I would like to thank my Patreon supporters. Thanks for watching, Papper people. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters. Thanks buddy to Alan Liu, Matthew Gray, Stuart Heffington, and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks buddy. Please consider using my Amazon affiliate link down in the description box below. I clicked the link and added some items that I need like some Canadian sphagnum peat moss cause I've grown a blueberry. I even got some replacement filters for my fridge because my family will never understand hose water. And I had to get a replacement screw for my Stay Right pool filter because I discovered I have very strong forearms, and I am still a thick boy. Well, damn, if you can't go to bed on no tape, what the hell could you go? Sick it out, even white boys got the shout. Baby got back.